Governor Lee just announced the official launch of a new school safety toolkit. Yeah, it's an effort to provide parents with tips and best practices to help them respond to emergency situations and any other source of violence on school grounds. Six on your side reporter Veronica Obey joins us in the studio now live after speaking with education advocates about how this new toolkit can impact students in our area. Veronica. Yeah, that's right, Don. There are two main takeaways the governor wants families to gather from this toolkit. One is resources and tips for families to be aware of, and the other is being able to respond to any suspicious activity. Both are what education advocates say are important in making schools safer across the state. School safety concerns have grown over time in East Tennessee as it's become a national topic due to recent tragic events happening on school grounds across the country. Earlier this year, I signed an executive order to enhance school safety all across the state. And one of our goals was to create a new resource and engagement guide for Tennessee families. The governor officially launching the school safety toolkit through the Safe TN app, allowing students, parents, faculty, and the general public to report any behavior around assault, threats, and other forms of violence anonymously. It's an effort that PTA President Dwight Hunter says will hopefully move the conversation of safety within school districts forward. I, my hope is that this would get us on track for more involved family and community engagement. Um, that's one thing I see missing across the state in several schools. Another factor in the toolkit is providing resources for students and families. One of those resources involves mental health. Unfortunately, in, in many of our communities, access and mental health treatment, there are oftentimes barriers, and so therefore this service, this resource, um, helps to alleviate those barriers by providing those mental health supports within the school environment. Shannon Crow with the McNabb Center says a student's mental state ties into school safety, which is why she's glad to see the information students may need all in one place. Mental health can impact a child's ability to connect and engage with their peers, with their caregivers, with their uh, adults in their life. It's the ability to report incidents and having resources after one click that makes this toolkit a leeway to action being taken before it's too late. It's really important for parents and caretakers of their students and their children to be involved in decision making. And this is one of the most important decisions that can be made by a school is creating a safe environment, creating a safe harbor. And another conversation Hunter says he hopes this new toolkit brings to the table is advocating for funds to make sure schools continue to remain safe. Don. Veronica, thank you. For more on how to use the toolkit and the information that's in it, you can head over to our website, check out Veronica's story at WATE.com.